What is up guys, today is Wednesday, January 12th, 2022. This is my first video of the new year, and of course it's almost two weeks in, but I was on a vacation for the last uh, greater part of a week, or actually over a week, so I didn't have anything to open before that, uh, between New Year's and that, so I'm finally back, and hopefully you guys aren't tired of Chronicles from uh, 2020 slash 21, but today is a new H2 variant, not COVID variant, but an actual H2 variant. Uh, this is the European version of the H2 hybrid boxes, and there's very few of these open on YouTube. Now, what's so special about this versus the regular North American one is um, that there are green circles and that there are green shimmers um, for the uh, for the Chrome stock uh, cards as parallels, and those are exclusive to these, and they're quite short printed. And you also have a shot at hitting just about every single um, hit subset in terms of autos and memorabilia. Uh, with the silver and black circle parallels, uh, either from 149 or numbered down to one. Um, so in the regular H2 box, I open with the light blue on the outside. I managed to hit a Buffon Treasure Threads Triple Relic, uh, and this one's out of 99. And um, the hits are quite rare in these H2 boxes, but every one in, one in every few boxes will have them. And uh, this is, a again, a European edition or European exclusive. I got this off DA Cardworld during the New Year's sale, um, so it wasn't too expensive or anything. They're actually on sale for uh, a very good price compared to the regular uh, H2 Hybrid and even a better price compared to the regular hobby boxes, let alone that. And you get three mini boxes with 15 cards each. And this is like a orange-red kind of color um, for the European H2 version. So we'll start off with our Premier League box. And wish me luck. Hopefully we can hit something. Of course, like the best possible hit would be like a one of one black circle autograph or something like that. Uh, but that's, of course, wishing for way too much. Um, that'd be like a once in a lifetime kind of hit. And uh, here is our first pack. So I don't think I see anything crazy. I do see some Chrome cards on the back. So maybe we'll pull an autograph or something if we're very lucky. But I'm just trying to hope, um, trying to hit a a green shimmer of some sort, or green uh, green circles. So we got, here, let's start with the regular. So we got Tangi and Dombele, Panini base, Pablo Fornells prestige base, that's a PC card, and then we have Chronicles base of Romain Sawyers, little Smallbone Panini base rookie, and then we have Neil Mope for Brighton, prestige base, and we have a rated rookie of Jared Bowen, boom. I have not hit that one yet, and that is a PC card. Uh, West Ham are going to play in just about five minutes against Norwich, uh, so I'll put that on the second I finish this video. And we have a nice, we have a Silver Circles uh, Fabio Silva parallel for his Contenders Optic rookie ticket card. That's beautiful. And we also have a Silver Circles for Sean Longstaff uh, for his prestige base. Uh, this is definitely a sweet card to hit, actually, so I'll be keeping that. Sean Longstaff parallel, and boom, we have a green circles of Aaron Juan Visaka. I thought you'd only get um, I thought you only get two per pack, but I think maybe these are extra. So green circles illusion, uh, illusion space of Aaron Juan Visaka. Of course, these are not numbered, but they are quite short printed. And you also have Decore illusion space, and then moving on, Helder Costa certified, Ederson elite. And then Gabriel Jesus Select. I do have the orange cracked ice version of that from my regular hobby box. Callum Robinson for West Brom Spectra and Robert Snodgrass, ex West Ham player and also ex uh, Norwich player, uh, prison base. So that is our first box. So I'll keep all of our parallels in uh, one stack on the side here. And then moving on, we will go on to our La Liga box. So that was a great way to start off this break. Super excited to see what we can get in this pack. And we start off with, boom, a Pedri rookie. So I don't think it could get better than that to get our first base card. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a fan of this uh, the cello, cellophane wrap for packs, um, as sometimes it just tears in random directions, but that's that. And so, oh, we do have a green circles of some, or green wave of some sort. So actually we'll take the Pedri and we'll cover that um, in one second. So Pedri rated rookie base. And we'll cover that card behind. Casemiro Chronicles base, Luke de Jong Panini base, and that has a stamp mark on it. You guys hear that? So I think it got stamped like like for here where it would get stamped. Um, so Luke de Jong, I think this is a one of one card. Might try to sell this for a thousand dollars on eBay. We'll see how that goes. And then Alejandro Pozo uh, Chronicles base of uh, Ivan Marcon, and then. Jose Luis Morales, 
And then under the Pedri, we have a green wave. If this is a messy prism, I'm going to freak out. It's a rookie. And it's a rookie of Esteban Burgos. Green wave. So the green waves are very nice. And our next parallel is going to be for Saul, for Atletico Madrid, Panini uh, Silver Circles. And then we have a green circles. I think this is a green circles. Yep. A uh, rookie of Alberto Pere Perea from Elite. I like that. The green circles look very pretty on that. And then we have a uh, Lucas Acampo space. And then we have uh, Zubel Dia. And then Tony Cruz. And then as for Chrome, we have John uh, Moncayola, rookie ticket. Edgar Mendez, rookie from Select. And Dennis Suarez from Spectra. So I'll put that there. Um, of course, that's a base card. And of course, we'll put Pedri there as a highlighted base. So we got two green parallels in one pack. So I do think that you get nine uh, overall parallels. So I'll put the Pedri on the side. So maybe we'll get um, three parallels in this last box for Serie A. So wish me luck. Hopefully we can get a hit. And if not, at least some nice parallels to continue uh, what we have in pulling. And I don't think we have a mem card, but uh, if we get lucky, we might get an autograph card still. So final pack. Let's see what we can pull. So we start off with Panini base of Marco Piaco. Uh, Luciana Gume, rookie from Prestige. Chronicles base for Gosens. Alex Marais for Napoli. Um, Panini base. And then Kragno, rookie, Prestige. And then Chronicles base of Alvin Ekdal. And then into our parallels, we have a Silver Circles Spectra, that's a stunning card, of Kalidou Koulibaly for Napoli. And then we have a Silver Circles uh, Prestige base of Andrea Cons uh, Consigli for Sassuolo. And then we have a Green Circles, looks like it could be Illusions, for Rodrigo B uh, Bacal, Green Circles Illusion base. And I think that's it for our parallels. So to finish off the box, we got Thorsby. Um, let's see what else we got. We got Theo Hernandez. And then Rodrigo De Paul, elite base. And then three Chrome cards, Joao Pedro uh, for uh, Cagliari, select base. And then Luigi Seppe, Spectra. And Andrea Bellotti for prism base. And that rounds out our break of a European H2 prism. So as for all of our base, there wasn't anything notable except for that Pedri um, paper rated rookie so we'll put that on top there and then to recap our parallels we got a good amount of uh, european h2 exclusive uh prisms we actually got four of them to be exact uh two in the liga box so i'm gonna start off with the regular uh silver circles so we got consigli Koulibaly, spectra saul panini longstaff prestige and fabio silva rookie ticket and then our four Green Wave European H2 exclusives, Aaron Wambasaka, Illusions, Green, uh, not Green Wave, uh, Green Circles, and then Esteban Burgos, Green Wave Prism, Alberto Perea, Green Circles Elite, and Rodrigo Picao, uh, Illusions, uh, Illusions, Green Circles. So that finishes off the box right there. And hope you guys enjoy that opening. A uh, great way to start off the year. Uh, I have some Pokemon Celebrations Elite Trainer boxes here in um, to hold, and I might open one or two of them, so depending on that. And then hopefully we'll get some more new releases in the future, and I'll keep you guys updated. So peace out, stay safe, and I'll catch you next time.